Hey guys, it's Jordan here, um, and today we are going to be doing part 4 of the Smash or whatever, the fighting game tutorial and Scratch. I'm doing this because a lot of you really um, liked the other, tutor the other Scratch tutorial fighting game tutorial thingy, and I just was thinking, what if I could do another one? Because, I mean, it's really cool, but... You just have two guys, and you have, like, no title screen. Um, it might not look as good as you want it to look. Or whatever. So, I'm gonna just be teaching you, um, um, like, I'm, well, this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you the title screen. And next tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you, um, the art. Like, how to do better things and, like, make everything look better. So, anyways, let's get started right away. So, what I want you to do is make, so, the one, so the th screen that you're looking at right now is the game arena, well, or whatever, you're fi the thing that you're fighting in, and you want to make a new thing called title screen, which, um, just do this, paint new backdrop, and name it title screen just to be good. Well, so you know which one is which. And what I want you to do is when the green flag is clicked, hide. Because we're not going to be like, it's not going to be like this right now. We're not going to be like on, he like we're not going to be on the title screen and we see our players moving around and stuff. So just add that. And also, here, switch to backdrop. So... You should have, when green flag clicked, you should switch to backdrop, title screen. So if I just do this, we're on our title screen, even though there's nothing on it. So, um, you, you, these are just all my variable. like these are just all the variables being set up. There's a few that you probably will not have because I just add them for test perf purposes on testing. So, yeah. You should have them all in one place. Um, so yeah. So let's just add... So let's make a new sprite. Well, this will be called... Um, just start button. Or whatever you would like to call it. Start, start button, whatever. So I'm just going to make this a square. So I'm just going to make this a red square. with start in the middle of it. Uh, let's go a little closer, right there. Start. Okay. Right there, and you can do this to shrink it, so you keep tapping on it, so it shrinks the object. That looks good. And let's just, um, so let's say, um, in the code for it, um, when the spread is clicked, broadcast, that's it, well, it's going to be broadcasting, start game. Okay, and just clean that up just so it's good. And we're actually going to move this over here. And so we're going to take off this forever block, leave all this other stuff here. But... We're gonna say, we're gonna just put the start game on top of this and do the same for the red character. Okay, when I receive start game, we'll do, we know, what? That's the wrong one. Oops, sorry guys. Uh. Oh my god. You know, it doesn't really matter, because actually, all these other things are being... It, never mind, okay. And what <clears throat> you have to do right now is probably going to be very tiring. You have to basically take all these blocks, all these green flag clicks, you know, take all these and 
put them away and throw them in the trash. And then you have to replace them with the um when start game. Well, when this the game start um broadcast. So we don't have like our player moving when the when the green flag is clicked. And we don't, well, you won't be able to see it, but when you start the game, they're going to be, like, on the other side of the screen. Or, um, or something else that could happen is you could press the rocket button, and you could see a rocket coming on the screen when it's not supposed to. Um, so just add all those to that. So add all these start game. Okay, just two more, well, one more now. Okay, no more. Now just do the same exact thing for player one. Uh, it's, it can be tiring. If you already finished watching this part, you can skip ahead. Okay, well, what I was just thinking about things off topic. I was diddly daddling with the sensing button for some reason. Okay, yeah, when I receive start game and when I receive start game. Oh, please tell me there's no more. Oh, there's two more. Come on. Oh, this is so tiring. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> okay, one sec. Okay. I can do this. Okay, finally. So now if we press this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. We need to do one more thing. So, it doesn't matter to what you guys do with this too, but you need to add to one of these on top of it. Remember, do not put this into a forever loop. Um, whoops, sorry. Wrong, wrong block. Show. Because if you don't do this, your players will not show. Okay, so show. So now, our players will show, but... Uh, it's not going to work out so well, because we're on the wrong backdrop. So, what we should do is, um, so now we have to do, when I receive, we'll just do this in player one, because he's the first player, so he's more important. <laughs> Sorry, player two. Um, so when I receive start game, it doesn't matter, remember, it doesn't matter which one you're doing in player one, player two. Um, when I receive start game, you should, um, Switch the backdrop to Game Arena. So, ready? Magic. Oh, yeah. And then, same right here, hide. So, now, just press this. Okay. Remember, before you play this game again, you have to press the green flag twice or the game will not work. Perfectly. Oh, yeah. When the green flag is clicked, show. And this whole thing should just work out perfectly. So, press it again. Twice. And the game goes. Just, all this, just make sure all of this works perfectly. Because if all this does not work perfectly, it means um, you might have not added, um, like, um... You might have not added one of the um, start game broadcast, well, the this block, when I receive block, you might have not added it to it. So just make sure, just test things out to make sure they're all correct. Um, I'm testing it out right now with the red guy. Q, S. Okay. Yeah, so... Next video, we're going to actually make things look good. Like, we're going to make the title screen look good. We're going to be making um, all the characters look good. 
I'll teach you some things about the art maker and stuff. So, anyways, um, thank you guys for watching and bye.